G'day viewers, this is Troy from Troy's Visual Arts channel. I've um, just been receiving some online help with my MBTV to Scope project um, from the people in the MBTV forum and someone suggested um, I, I replace the 180 kilohome resistor at pin 2 of um, the 4528 chip with a 100k and I've done just that and indeed it seems to have improved the circuit a lot however for, this, for the standard MBTV um, video, sig uh, video files um, it hasn't still not displaying a picture however I am getting a raster at least at least that's what I assume this um, polygon is when I turn off the XY mode, I am getting me I am indeed getting me um, X and Y sawtooth ramps though they are not perfect sawtooths, but they are there Actually, um, in the other files I've been playing, they actually looked a lot different. The um, the line scan sawtooth was a lot is obviously a lot steeper. Um, it's because of the it obviously would be at higher frequency. Obviously, is at further. Sorry, start again. The line sawtooth is, is um, should obviously be. At or I believe should be at a much much higher frequency as more information is conveyed through through line scan than through field scan so but in this case it looks like I'm getting I'm getting a um, negative and positive going um, sawtooth uh, line scan negative and field scan positive both seem to get the same frequency at the same amplitude hmm a bit strange I'm going to switch to another video file and see what happens let's go to me Ah, this looks a lot better. Well, actually I need to do a bit of adjustment. There we go. I somewhat believe this should be closer to the or close to how the uh, sawtooth should be um, channel 2 is a line sawtooth and channel 1 is the field sawtooth and as um, I was explaining earlier on um, the line sawtooth is a lot steeper than the field sawtooth because it's at a, a much much higher frequency which is typical in um, with the line scan of a TV for the TV um, um, horizontal scanning opposed to the field scanning anyhow um, but yeah as it seems the um, the scans are quite a lot better now after correctly adjusting the sink and changing the uh, resistor to 100k um, however as mentioned um, on in XY mode we're still not exactly getting a picture so yeah still gonna do a bit more investigation here however I am um, 
I actually did play a different um, standard file which I think is widescreen NBTV and I actually got a squash picture of uh, Felix Cat. I'll pull that up for you. Uh, here we are. We play that Felix the Cat file which I believe is MBTV widescreen or it could be of a, of a different standard I'm not sure I know I've put a few different standard files on and um, yeah we're getting we, we actually are getting a picture of uh, Felix the Cat which appears to be squashed on the left hand side opposed to the right hand side So how about that? The circuit is pretty much working, um, well at least sort of, to a different um, standard. Let's go back to the Felix the Cat file again. Now we'll switch the X and the Y around so we get horizontal scan instead of uh, vertical scan. And there we have it, Felix the Cat, but squashed. So the circuit's on its way to working properly. I'm glad I'm at least seeing a picture. I'm starting to think now that um, M with MP3 compression, I tend to wonder if that slight, even though 320k top notch MP3 is slightly compressed and you wouldn't notice it at all with audio files. With video files it does make a lot of difference with MBTV as I discovered um, when I looked at the spectrometer and um, and uh, played back um, a MP3 encoded um, MBTV WAV file um, in MBTV the Big Picture program. There was actually a lot of artifacts in the picture. But anyhow, um, I'm glad that I'm actually at least seeing a picture show up now. I'm going to actually look at that um, Felix the Cat file and see what standard it is. And yeah, we'll go take it from there. So yeah, that is good news. But still, yeah, this circuit does need a bit of work in order to get it working properly. So I'll keep on hacking away at it and see where where I can get it. Anyhow, this is Troy from Troy's Visual Arts Channel signing out.